London School of Economics is particularly on the economics of independence. And what I'll be explaining is even if we have, and we've proposed we should have, a, a currency zone in, in these islands, so we keep sterling in a currency zone, by using fiscal policy and by using growth policies, uh, we can make decisive interventions to make things better in Scotland. And in a, a day where we've seen the latest unemployment figures across these islands, we've really got to start focusing on growth. The thing that Westminster government is not doing, and I'll be setting out six of the best, six policies using fiscal interventions with the power of independence to grow the Scottish economy to make things better for the future. Well, let's look at energy as to how we can imagine a better future for Scotland. And there's two aspects to it. One is using our oil and gas, not just to supply us with, with revenue to, to meet public services in Scotland today, but to build up an investment fund for tomorrow. And I, I'm pointing out, even if you put less than 10% of the oil and gas revenues into an investment fund, within 20 years you'd have £30 billion, pounds, which would be a secure fund which would anchor the Scottish economy and provide great uh, security for the future, for future generations. Uh, and secondly, this other great opportunity of uh, offshore renewables, uh, of the marine industries in Scotland, we've got one quarter of the continent of Europe's available resource. Now, we've got to see that as an opportunity, not just to power England, to power the rest of Europe, which we should do, uh, but also to reindustrialize our country. And our estimate is 20,000 jobs can be created around Scotland in the engineering, fabrication, construction, and servicing of these massive new machines, which will power this century.